Detroit is trimming the fat in the locker room. Let's Talk Lions. Welcome back to an all new episode here at Let's Talk Lions. A few things have transpired over the last couple days. I didn't think that they were all worthy enough of their own video. Uh, you know, I just figured let's smash them together like a good sub sandwich, which has like five nicknames when you think about it. It's a sub, a hero, a foot long, a hoagie. Come on, too many nicknames. Well, let's get into it. A few things have transpired. First and foremost, the Lions have waived fullback Nick Bodden. Defensive tackle Ja'Shawn Cornell has been suspended for the first three games of the season. And the Lions are just a little bit closer to signing Todd Gurley. So let's break it down. The Lions have waived Nick Bodden. When you look at him, the Lions selected him 7th round 2018. He came out of San Diego State. And in his three seasons with the Lions, he has played a total of 10 games all 10 of those games being in 2019 2018 2020 are bookends of injuries 2018 he has an acl issue he can't play the entire rookie year 2020 he injures his knee doesn't play at all and you wonder why i don't want todd Gurley here ow oh definitely just had an eyelash in my eye hurt real bad Oh, that hurt like the Girl Scout prices, man. He has been obliterated by injuries. And then I think Dan Campbell and co. had the final straw with him not showing up to OTAs. So it was just like, I right, get this guy out of here. So we have created a roster spot. The second move is defensive tackle. Ja'Shawn Cornell has been suspended three games. The first three games of the 2021 season due to a substance abuse. Cornell put out a tweet, which is a thing i hate that that's a thing i hate that i just said those words but he put this out there basically being like yo i made a mistake i lost a dear friend of mine and i did something i should have done and in doing that i'm suspended i'm sorry everybody i will learn from my mistakes which is great for those of you who do not know cornell was our seventh round pick last year bob quinn matt patricia hoping to find their very own aladdin deep in the draft but we have zero idea how he will actually fare in the nfl as he was injured right before the season started i believe it was a, an achilles injury not sustained by hector so <laughs> i thought that was good you probably have no idea what i'm talking about and if you do all right very good very good great scene in troy He's sitting there calling out hector and then eric bana plays as hector comes out go watch troy great movie i honestly don't know what to expect from this guy you know his best season was his final season at ohio state but it was again that was like the one that you could point to and be like okay yeah seventh round pick to me don't know what to expect and now he is out games one two and three we won't see him until we play against chicago i don't even know if he's gonna make it don't even know if he's gonna make it that far not sure what dan campbell and co will do with this one that dt room is getting crowded if i may say all of this is leading me up to the fact that we have two roster spots open and dan campbell made it clear that the lions that he are looking are talking with todd Gurley's agent trying to find a way to make this happen i do believe that todd Gurley will be a detroit lion this year which is a wild thing to think about and I'm not going to get too deep into it because you guys know where I stand. And if we do sign him, I will be putting out a video getting into the nitty gritty of it, getting a little bit deeper into it. We're going to part the Red Sea and walk on dry land with it all around us. And if that reference is lost on you, that's okay. Go watch Prince of Egypt. Great soundtrack. All in all, the whole Todd Gurley thing, it does sound to me like Dan Campbell wants him, like he will most likely be a lion i'm not a huge fan of that you know that it's going to take away reps from deandre swift but that's something for another day all in all just wanted to keep you updated that is the news and as always i'll catch you next time on let's talk lions